Come on. Ah, oh, get out of the corner, kid. Come on, dude. Immediately from the outset, this guy goes for the corner. Nice try. Nice. This guy's got a katana, so I gotta be careful. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, teammate. There you go, my teammate got that guy. Nice. Careful. Got my UAV. That UAV is gonna be crucial. Try and break through to the response. Nice. Careful. Ah, oh, of course it's a tracer gun. Y'all know I hate tracer guns in this game, man. Let, let's get everyone unmuted here. These kids are raging. Nice. Okay, get sniped from long. Oh, I just absolutely knocked that guy out there. That should have been a headshot. Got our UAV. Let's call this in. We might be able to get a veto off of this. If we, if we play a little bit campish, we should be able to get it. Oh my god, dude. If I was standing up right now, I'd be dead. Okay. I'm not even sure how I got that. SAE, let's go. Come on. Give me that veto, baby. One more, I guess. Oh, we gotta get one more kill. Careful. Come on. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's get it. He tolls out. Oh, of course it's a shotgun that kills me. With that with that VTOL out now, we're we're gonna be getting a lot of kills, man. Come on. Get out of that camping camping spot, dude. Okay. I gotta say I'm I'm loving this version of Dust House. Like I remember the like Vanguard version, and I gotta say like this map is actually an improvement on what it like used to be for sure. Could be a lot better though as well, but is what it is. Come on. Uh, of course they got a Sam turret in the back of their spawn. Kind of pathetic, but it is what it is. All right. Call in this SAE. Drop this all in their spawn. Bro, I was already flashed. What like how was I gonna like fight back there? Rocket launcher to cross the map. Killed again in my own spawn by a tracer. Jesus, dude. I can't even get a kill. Oh my lord. get killed by my own teammate. That's hilarious. Bro, imagine I turn this cor- Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, Claymore and enemy decoys. Just to get shot in the back, dude. Come on! Get me a kill. Bro. Good lord. Come on. I flashed somebody over there. Nice. There we go. Now we're on the comeback. Ooh. Let's go. I'll take that grenade kill any day. That was nasty. Out of there. Be careful. That was a double? Jesus. I didn't think that was a double. We're definitely gonna lose this game no matter what, but like I'm I'm hoping we can clutch a 40 bomb. Split triple, I'll take that. We're gonna call in this SAE here. All right, there we go. Get hopefully maybe a few kills with it. All right. 
We at least got one kill. So I'm not too mad about that. Could have been more than that, but even just one is okay with me. Now, now we gotta fight all these dudes here. As we're trying to clutch this 40 bomb. That should have been a kill, dude. What? I don't Alright everyone, so that was the gameplay. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Now I'm gonna show you guys the class up that we used to get that really crazy game. First off, starting with the muzzle, we're using the Harbinger D20. If you know me, this is my favorite muzzle to use, both from the past Modern Warfare games because it's got great bullet velocity, great firing aim stability, tremendous recoil control, and it's undetectable by radar. So whether you're playing core or hardcore, it's going to be great for you nonetheless. For the barrel, we're using the XRK Core Mark 40 Heavy. I personally love this one because it's got an increase in aiming idle sway. You're getting tremendous gun kick control. You're also getting really good recoil control and bullet velocity with range. So this is going to be perfect for steady and mid-range gunfights across the board. For the muzzle, we're using the FTAC Ripper 56. This is my favorite one to use by far of all the underbarrels because you're getting both increases substantially in the aiming idle sway and hip fire accuracy while getting some minor adjustments in recoil control. Overall, improving the accuracy, making it more snappy and getting quick and more accurate shot. For the comb, we're using the Demo Flak comb. I personally like this one. The biggest part of this one is that you're getting a massive increase in hip fire and tans. Now for the comb, the one that we're using is the Demo Flak comb. I personally love this one because you're getting a major increase in hip fire and tack stance spread, which is going to have a more stable shooting experience for you, as well as increases minorly in recoil control and gun kick control. I know some people do like using either the FT Polycomb or the Recon Comb. It just depends on your playstyle, what your maps you're playing, things like that. And then lastly, guys, I'm using the MK3 Reflector for my optic. Probably my favorite optic to use by far in this game. There's nothing that comes close to it, no matter who you ask. It's really great and just works very well compared to the iron sight. Now, for my tacticals and lethals, I'm using a flash grenade and a semtex. For my field upgrade, I'm using a munitions box. And then for my gloves, I'm using commando gloves. For boots, I'm using soccer boots. And for my gear, I'm using mission control comlink. All of which make the most superior loadout that you can possibly have, whether playing in core or warzone or hardcore when it comes down to Modern Warfare 3. So that was the gameplay in the class setup. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like down below. As well, guys, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. And with that being said, guys, my name is Tristan Ortiz. I'll see all of you guys 